take 47 okay my hair <laughs> it's always my hair hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here I'm Jamie B thanks for stopping by so in today's video I am going to be doing I guess a drugstore haul slash drugstore skincare PR it's gonna be a mix up of both I have a bunch of products here I want to talk to you guys about or let you know what I've bought. So if you are excited to see what I got, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. Basically, I have a bunch of stuff that is drugstore that I have bought. I've either been told about or has been recommended to me or I've seen on TikTok, YouTube. Then I also have my Pixie skincare. Um, this was sent to me for free for review and PR and I want to try it out and I figure why not put it in my drugstore haul or drugstore makeup beauty items because it is found in the drugstore usually I find it at Target so we're gonna get right into it okay so the first thing I am going to talk about is going to be the pixie hydrating milky collection skin treats so this is your daily serving of soothing hydration um, it does come with six different items in here and I'm gonna just open them up so it's so cute it comes with like little milk cartons this one is the hydrating milky makeup remover and it does have a number one on it so it goes like in order so this is the hydrating milky makeup remover and it definitely has some kind of oil base in it I feel like because it's separated so coconut and probiotic it is a bi-phase makeup removing milk let's open her up and smell her I just had so much stuff from like Walmart and like the store as I go out to get like groceries and stuff and like I know it's not essential obviously to be like getting these things at the store but if I'm already out then I'm just gonna get them like I bought so much of it so I got so many things at the Sephora sale and I can't wait to show you guys as soon as it gets here it sells and shipped yet and my Ulta order with my Dyson hair straightener just shipped and will be here Friday so I'm excited to do a video on that one okay so it doesn't really have a smell to it, which is kind of weird because I thought it was going to. And it's like a pump so you can put your cotton ball or pad on here and just pump it up. So that's pretty cool. Hydrating Milky Cleanser. Number step two. Number step two. Step number two. So this is also coconut and probiotic soothing cleansing cream. I'm actually really into the milk cleansers right now um, because they're actually really, really good for my skin because it's so dry um, and I haven't had any breakout issues. I did have issues with that squalene stuff with the ordinary, but um, no issues. So I can't really use oil cleansers, but milk cleansers I've been having like no issues with. This one definitely has fragrance in it. Oh, it smells good though. It's not terrible and it feels really nice. So that is the texture that you get. Ooh, so that did leave my skin like nice and hydrated. I will not lie, like it feels really, really nice right here. Okay, so the Milky Makeup Remover is $24. The Hydrating Milky Cleanser is $18. And then moving on to the 13, which is the Hydrating Milky Peel. Exfoliate and smooth with every serving. And this is step three. And that's just their normal packaging. So the Milky Peel is $24 as well. I do really like their peels. I actually don't mind Pixi Skincare too much. There are certain items that I don't use or I have no use for, but a couple of their items are actually my favorite items to use. Okay, that just like spit out. And it all has about the same smell to it. Almost like a floral smell, which is weird because it's coconut based. But I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, that's gross. That's one of those like peely nasty, ooh, okay, let me do it again. Starts to exfoliate the yucky skin off, if you can see that, it's really gross. I have a Juice Beauty one that does that, and I love it because it really does remove the dead skin cells and stuff, and my face looks so much brighter and smoother, but you have to spray it on your face, and I hate that. I absolutely hate having to spray anything on my face because if it doesn't spritz because you have to be careful not to get in your eyes it's very like strong um so if you're not careful then it winds up getting all over the place and it runs and it wastes it so i would prefer a cream like this and i really really do like how that feels 
and it did make it a little bit brighter. All right, so after that, we would go in and tone. So I only have a closed one, but I have a bigger open one um, in the bathroom. This is their Glow Tonic, and this is my favorite. This one is the one with the glycolic acid, and it really, really makes my skin look glowy and beautiful. So hopefully this will do the same. So this is a Balance and Comfort. So this one is a soothing toner that helps hydrate and relax the skin, providing a balanced, comforted complexion for any skin type. So I'm gonna open her up. I'm so excited, I love skincare. Like obviously, <clears throat> like obviously makeup is like my thing, but skincare and hair care, they're definitely like a close second for me. I like the way that this one smells. It smells a little bit different than the rest of it. I don't know how to like what to put. Ah, it's got Jehovah oil in it or Jehovah milk in it and oat soothing toner. So this one is not coconut and probiotics. This one is a little bit different. That's why it smells different. Oh my gosh, that feels so refreshing. Oh, like have you ever used a, like a cooling skin mask? That's what it feels like I just put all over my face. Like I just laid it. Oh, okay, that's nice. This one I like, I like it a lot. So the Milky Tonic is $15 and I really, really like that one. That's the first one I've actually put on my face and I really like that. If you guys wanna see me do all of these steps, then go ahead and comment below and I will get a video up for you guys of me using like the, this whole six piece line. So this is the Hydrating Milky Serum. This has rosehip oil and aloe vera in it. So I think I'm gonna put this in a giveaway because my face does not do very well to rosehip oil. So I don't want to have any issues. Um, so I'm not gonna use this one. Um, Rose just doesn't really work for my skin. So I'm gonna put that in the giveaway pile I have growing. But I will tell you how much that one cost. Okay, so this serum is $24 as well. And like I said, it has rosehip oil and aloe vera. The aloe vera would be great for me. However, the rosehip, I, like I said, it just really doesn't react well with my skin. So I'm not gonna put that on my face just because I already know how my skin's gonna behave. Um, I actually had a moisturizer from them that I thought was doing really nice and it also irritated my skin. So instead of opening that, I'm gonna put it in for a giveaway for you guys. I have a big giveaway. It is coming up. Um, I'm just adding to it and adding to it and adding to it. So that way I can give you guys a really huge beauty giveaway. So the next one is a hydrating milky lotion and this has coconut and shea butter. So this is $24 as well. I really wish they would have sent me the milky mist because I really like that stuff, but that was not one of the things in here. I can't complain because it was all free, but I'm just saying. I would have preferred it. Okay, and I am gonna put some of this on my face as well. So it doesn't seem to have anything that is gonna cause me to have any issues. So it smells really nice too. So I'm just gonna put some on here after doing that toning. It definitely has fragrance in it. So if you guys have issues with like scented stuff, this is not gonna be the line for you. Some of them do, some of them don't, but for the most part they do have fragrance, so just be careful when thinking about that. But it, like I said, if you guys wanna see a full in-depth makeup removing, skincare routine with that, then go ahead and comment below and I will get that out for you. But as a first hand, first impressions, I don't mind it. I like that the exfoliating does the little skin peeling things, um, but it's gentle. It's not too harsh on my sensitive skin. I like the lotion. My face feels hydrated. And if you look like I have a little bit of a glow, the toner is my favorite. Um, and the makeup remover, I don't have any makeup on today to try to remove it. So we're gonna move on to the next thing. So I went to Big Lots because I had to get, I needed a bigger pan or a bigger pot. And Big Lots was the closest to me because I didn't want to have to go to Walmart. So I picked up a few things. First, I picked up this shirt and it says, if you, wait, if only there was a skip intro on this conversation. So my husband got me this and I absolutely love it. It feels nice. It was $8, but it's just a t-shirt. I love t-shirts. And then the next thing I got was the L'Oreal Paris Pure Sugar Scrub Nourish and Soften Three Pure Sugars and Cocoa. Um, they had it there for $6.95. I don't really know how much it retails for at other stores, but I've been wanting to try these and I haven't because I don't have a lot of lower end 
skincare. I would say that my most of my skincare is extremely expensive. Um, and that's not because I'm snobby. I'm just very, very particular when it comes to skincare and what it does for my skin. And just, I have not had a lot of success with lower end stuff, so I kind of stay away from it. So this is what this scrub looks like. It just looks like chocolate mousse. And it comes in a nice little glass jar. This is actually not bad. It's a pretty heavy duty jar. And I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop some out here. It smells really good. It smells like cocoa butter, honestly. So it's supposed to be a sugar scrub and exfoliator. So it does lighten up. I can feel the sugar in it. Um, it doesn't seem like it's too harsh. I know that a lot of people are really against using physical exfoliants, but it does feel like it has a decent amount of sugar scrub so it's when i first pulled it out i will not lie it was kind of like soft and i was like well, this isn't gonna exfoliate anything on anyone's face but the more like you scrub it out i need to wash my hands so bad the more that you scrub it out the more you can feel those grains of sugar which by the way are all over the place now and then i got this which is zabs it overnight results so a friend of mine actually uses this and says that it is the bomb that he puts it on his broke like areas that are breaking out and it's gone by the next day i've had a lot of issues lately during my time of the month where like i'll get these under the skin pimples and i can't get rid of them or they take like a week to come to surface so i can get rid of it so i'm hoping that this will help so i think i tried this one time before when he had recommended it and i only tried it one time and then I lost it. So I couldn't remember if I liked it or not. So I got this and I'm really excited to use it. If you guys have ever used Zapzit, then comment below and let me know. But it was pretty cheap. I think there's no price tag on here, but I think it was like $4. So I know that they sell it at like Walmart and stuff too for pretty cheap. So we shall see how that goes. So the next two things, believe it or not, I got from the Dollar Tree. So this one is Skin Nutri Nutrition, and this is the Double Strength Retinol Night Repair Serum. Um, it was a dollar. I got it off of TikTok. TikTok made me buy it. Um, I won't lie, I'm a little nervous to use it because, well, it was a dollar. Ugh. It smells like when my baby burps after her formula. <coughs> <laughs> it's disgusting okay I'm not gonna be using this on my face it stinks so bad like I don't think I could uh no oh like baby for like old baby formula is what it smells like so I'm gonna put a couple drops on my hand to see what happens but no I think it's gonna be a no for me a lot of the people on TikTok swear by this stuff but <coughs> Zero out of 10, I do not recommend. So the next thing is another skin nutrition. This is with peptides, vitamin C, vitamins, and green tea extract. This is Age Defy Dark Circle and Puffiness Serum. Instant three-in-one treatment. Dark circles, puffiness, and fine lines and wrinkles. And it was a dollar. So this is another skincare thing. See what I mean? Like, I could just go from one side of the spectrum to the other. Like, hundreds of dollars, a dollar no happy in between for me but this was raved about all over tiktok so i don't know if it's because it's just trendy or if it actually works let me smell it no it doesn't really smell like anything so i'm gonna go ahead and put it here and see i get puffiness and i get dark circles i don't have too many fine lines a lot came out i feel like like it, it definitely I feel like draws your attention to my eyes now but we'll let it dry out for a second and see but it was a dollar so I think I'm gonna see how this goes maybe I'll use it a couple days and let you guys know but this one I don't like how this one smells so I don't think I'm going to be using this um so moving on to the next things I think I got these I saw these originally on Instagram not on TikTok so I got these elf they are the new sheer um slick lipsticks and I got dragon fruit orange wild peach and jam or jelly so they were five dollars a piece so i'm going to be using my phone today as my mirror because i don't have my mirror with me i did not set myself up i set myself up for failure today that's what i did also this stuff is starting to like feel like it's getting really dry and 
sticky. So that's a thing. Um, it's kind of irritating. I don't know that I like that. It's tacky feeling. But these are the four colors and they're very sheer and almost glossy like. So I love that and that's going to be a perfect like summer thing. So this first top color right here, that one is Orange Crush. And the next one down here is going to be Jam or Jelly. And then the next one is Wild Peach, which is right here, which I don't really understand because it's not really peachy. <laughs> and then the next one is going to be Dragon Fruit, which is the darkest or less sheer. Um, they seem to be <laughs> very close in color. Um, like these two right here, Jammer Jelly and Dragon Fruit, and then the Wild Peach and the Orange Crush seem to be very close in color, and they don't have a smell to them. So I would say if you're going to get them, maybe just get one of the purple ones and one of the orange ones, and then you'll be set because I don't really feel like there was a big difference. I'm gonna put this one on my lips because I liked it the most, which was the jam or jelly. I like how that feels a lot. So this, I'm gonna roll it so you can see everything you get in the tube as well. It's almost like a thicker lip gloss, almost like a balm. <clears throat> like I definitely feel like it's like a balm. So you get this much in it, which is, I mean, pretty good for a lip balm. It's $5. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of transfer, so be mindful. Uh, Hopefully not a lot of transfer on the teeth, but I don't mind them. I just, I don't like that they're so similar in color where I could have just gotten like two of them and been fine without it, without the other two. But I know that I will use them and I'll probably use them very fast because they are more like a balm. I can kind of just reapply and then be out the door. And during the summer, when you're at the beach or you're outside or you're just going to the gym and you don't want to have regular lipstick on, but you want a little something, something, go into the store. These are going to be what comes in handy. I mean, I know a lot of people are like, if I'm going to wear a lipstick, then I'll wear a lipstick. But I like to have some color going on, but at the same time, like not have to worry about my lipstick like cracking or peeling or smearing or reapplying so I like to use things like this so I would definitely recommend them just like I said get a purplish red one and one orangish peach one because they're kind of the same so we're gonna move on to the next items which I also got from Target okay so if this is also elf products um look at me drugstore buying and they are five dollars as well these are the liquid glitter eyeshadows and I think these are so pretty and I've been waiting to use these to show you guys. So the first one I opened is silver and it's called Bling Bling. So they are very tiny. Don't let the package fool you. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on here. You're only getting this much a product. So keep in mind it is only $5 but you're only getting this much product. Oh, I mean it's probably really good as a topper. But that's kind of sheer. It's not really as like pigmented, I guess, as I thought it was gonna be. It's not as thick as I thought it was gonna be. Disco Queen, I don't think I'm gonna open it because I think I might put that one in a giveaway too. This one I'm definitely opening because it's blue and it's so beautiful. And this one is called Ocean Eyes. Ooh, okay, so this one is way thicker in consistency, but also probably one you want to use as a topper, maybe over another blue eyeshadow or maybe over a black, just to give it a blue glitter look. I do love that color though. So the next ones I have are Copper Pop, Flirty Bird, and Dirty Martini. We're gonna do the Dirty Martini, but the Copper and the Flirty look exactly the same. So I don't know that I'm going to keep, I'm going to open both of them. I might put another one in a giveaway. I wish I would have done for the lipsticks that I just used. So this one is definitely like a copper, oh my gosh. Okay, this one's my favorite. I'm glad I opened this. It's like a gold green and it's so thick. Okay, like you can see my skin through this one and this is basically non-existent. But this one, she thick. I like this one a lot. Ooh, I'm in between. If I want Flirty Bird or Copper Pop. I'm sorry, that one wasn't Copper Pop. The one I just showed you was Dirty Martini. I lied. This one is Copper Pop. I'm going to put Flirty Bird and Disco Queen, which is like a silver blue. And then this one is like a light gold, rose gold-ish color. I'm going to put both of those in for the giveaway as well. And we're going to try this Copper Pop one. 
can't get it open. Ooh, okay, so this one is kind of similar to the blue one. It's a little thicker, but it is definitely not as thick as the Dirty Martini. Um, you can't really catch it there on camera, but I can see through it. This one is definitely gonna be my favorite. I might do like a brown on the crease and then just put that on the lid, like over an eye primer and just be like, whoo, lashes out the door, so beautiful. So they do dry fairly fast. Um, they are, I mean, all but this one that I just did is dry. Uh, I don't see a lot of glitter transfer. I don't think that they're gonna be too much of a mess. They seem easily um, moved around for blending. The only problem I think that I'm gonna have is the applicator. I do not prefer that kind of applicator. I will probably just use either my finger, like take the applicator, put it on my finger, and then dab it on the lid, or my own brush, really. But I don't really see myself using that, like the applicator to apply it on my eyes. I'm gonna try this makeup remover, by the way. So it definitely leaves some glitter left over, but it does take up all the color. But you're gonna get that where like the glitter is left over from any glitter eyeshadow, so prepare yourself for that. But I don't mind this makeup remover at all. It... All right, guys. Well, that is it for my drugstore haul slash PR unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really excited that I got to add three more items to my growing giveaway. And as always, if you have any questions or any thoughts on any of the items that I talked about today, then go ahead and put them in the comments below so I can check them out. Um, what are your thoughts on the e.l.f. lipsticks? That's my question of the day. What do you think about these? Are they worth the $5? Do you have them? Do you want them? let me know. Um, and as always, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!